Does this happen to your pencil sharpener when you put it in? Nothing, right? All right, I'll show you how to fix this bad boy. All right, unplug it from the wall, first of all. Then flip it over. There'll be a screw on the back here. Just take that guy out, like I said. And take the cover off. And you'll see in here, the gear is stripped. This guy, if you can see it. The big round one, not this one. This one. So we're gonna replace that. This guy. All right, there are gonna be two screws here on this cup. You're gonna take them out. Flex heads. And then on the other side where the magnet is, there's a quarter inch driver here for the screw. There'll be two of these. I've already loosened them. Spare you that pain. <clears throat> take both of these guys out. Just try to keep everything together. Remember where it was because it can come apart on you. This shaft will fit in this hole here. And then you're going to take that out. This will be a magnet here. Just try to keep it together. And then here is the gear. All right. Now you're going to take this shaft and you're going to pull the old gear off. I'm going to pull on the shaft here. Well, it broke, so. <laughs> that shows you how bad it was. You could see the teeth on it were all chewed up. Like there was a little rabbit in there. Now you're gonna take this, the high side will be out, this little lip. And then you're gonna fit it over the shaft here. It should only fit on one way, maybe a little bit tight depending on the manufacturer and that pops it on so you could just leverage it off of the, the desk and push it down on there all right all right so once you fit the gear back onto the shaft make sure this plastic piece is in onto this plate all the way in push it in and then you're going to push the part where the magnet is this other gear this little one into the hole Make sure it's engaging this other, the new gear you just put in. You may have to pull that one towards the front and then push this one towards it so it, so they're touching. Have to pull that out a little bit. Make sure those gears, the little one hits the big one in there. Then you're gonna put these two screws back in and these two here, make sure this shaft is in this hole here on the back end where the actual sharpener part is. That goes into this hole. And it should fit nice and snug back in there. And you put these two screws back in. And the rest of the cover naturally. All right. All right, put, after you put your cover back on, plug it in and voila, works great. Well, thanks for watching. Take care.